Hey, what's up everyone? It's Joey from Falcon Studios TV and I'm bringing you a short tutorial on a technique that I've learned using After Effects to put any information you want on a display of a device. It could be a TV, a phone, a laptop, anything you possibly want. And just don't think what it is what you think. You don't have to use a green screen. It's really easy. It doesn't take no more than 10 minutes. So yeah, let's get started. This is um footage from the upcoming What the F number 12 called Hip Hop is Dead. And let me show you what I'm talking about. See, so as you can see, Justin Bieber here is stuck on the screen. Now, no, I did not put him on the screen at the time of the shooting. He was not there. I put him in post, and that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you now. It's really simple and really easy to do. So first things first, you have to go ahead and import your footage into After Effects, which, of course, I've already done. It's right here. All right, so the very first step out of all of this, of course, is to take him take the original footage of the device and make a composition and see as you can see he's not there so now if you want to go really 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 in depth you can go ahead and track it to make sure he sticks to there but I'm not going to show you how to track in this tutorial I'm only going to show you how to put him on the screen really simple really easy now in this tutorial, I'm going to assume that whoever's watching already knows pretty much the basics of how to use After Effects. I'm not going to go in and tell you how each and every individual tool works because I'm going to figure that you already have a basic knowledge. I will, however, show you the key and very important stuff and what you need to know. All right, so let's go first. Since I'm not going to be tracking the footage, of course, in real scenario, I probably would track the footage only because I have really shaky footage because it's handheld. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you how to put them on the screen. So you already have your footage. Normally I would go into the tracker and track it like I said, but instead I'm not going to do that. So next, you're going to import, well put on top the Justin Bieber image. Now like I said, this could be anything. It could be a picture of a dog, cat, anything you could possibly want it to be. You're going to hit the rotation tool and you're going to rotate him. No, stop it. Rotation tool. And you're going to rotate him until he reaches the overall angle you think he needs to be. Let's go ahead and size him up. So as you can see from here, he's a little bit off. So let's go ahead and change his perspective just a little bit until he's right there. That looks about right to me, at least to my eye at first. So next things first, go into your effects and presets. I already have the window open. Now if you don't have this window set up exactly the way I have my After Effects set up, all the information is available right here from the windows in the window menu. You have like your tracker, you have effects and presets, everything like that that you could possibly need right in from the window thing. So I'm going to go ahead and type in corner pin tool. And you're going to go ahead and drag that on top of the Justin Bieber footage or picture, sorry. And with that open, you're going to click the corner pin tool and it's going to bring up these little circles right here. And that's going to give you control over each individual corner and change the perspective. And this is the most pretty important part because what it's going to do is make it look like he's stuck on that screen and that you didn't just stick a picture on top of a phone. It's best if you had, when you do the footage, you actually have the phone at an awkward angle instead of just flat because it really helps sell the image, the overall image. I got to zoom in a little bit. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Get that corner pin in there. Get that corner pin in there. And that looks about right to me. 
if you want to double check it for me I'm gonna go into full resolution just to see nothing's overlapping it looks really good and voila you're done everybody no you're not that looks like complete crap and the reason why is there's no reflection on top of the image therefore it's making it look like it's fake and that's not what we want we want it to look as real as possible so next step is you're gonna duplicate well let's bring this back to thirds real quick so we don't gotta worry about lag okay so the original footage you're gonna hit command D to duplicate it and now you have two existing versions of the same footage you're gonna drag one on top of the Justin Bieber and keep the original below it and uh oh he disappeared don't worry we're gonna fix that right now we're gonna first I'm gonna go ahead and make a mask actually make this easy on myself I'm gonna mask around each point of the screen so I'm gonna mask here the mask here 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 and here and just like that we have a mask and now you may be asking yourself wait he's still not there what's going on it's because we have to lower the opacity and this is where the magic happens just like that he shows back up but not only is he showing back up on the screen but the reflections show back up with him now you can finesse this to your own liking do whatever you want it to happen what you want to look like personally I like to have a lot of reflection a little bit of image and eh, it's a little too much actually let's bring it down to about 70 let's go 70 and yeah it looks about perfect there's just enough reflection and just enough screen where it really sells the effect like watch if you go back out to 100% look at that it looks like he's on the screen and now that's not even where the power of this technique even ends see if you had just put the picture on the screen and you wanted to say make him look all fizzy like there's something wrong with the screen you wouldn't have been able to do that without warping the footage or doing a whole lot of masks and stuff with this power this has some this technique has so much power behind it that you can do literally anything to the image itself so let's Add uh, the distort, warp the distort or something. Wave warp. Let's add that to it. Add that. Sorry, not not to the movie one. You're gonna add that to the actual Justin Bieber layer. Just like that. And now look, it's only affecting him and not the entire image. Like we can let's make this. Let's make this noise. And just like that, it's only affecting him on the image and nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial and that you found it very useful. If you had any questions at all of what happened, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you have any ideas for future tutorials that you need something with help on, feel free to ask. You can either ask in a comment on this video or tweet me at Falcon Studios TV. I'll be sure to get back to you. If it's within my power, I'll be sure to try and help you. Um, the programs that I know how to use are Adobe After Effects CX6, Adobe Premiere CS6, a little bit of DaVinci Resolve, and I have a friend who's able to do a lot of Photoshop stuff. So if you have any questions with any of those programs, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.